Hey everyone, I'm Sarah. I'm Lucinda. And welcome back to another color class. In today's color class, we are looking at the difference between clear and deep within the six dominant characteristics palette. And I cannot tell you how many people have said to us, you know, I, this six dominant characteristics thing is so cool. We love it. It's great. It totally answers so many of our questions in terms of people saying their own palettes never quite worked. But the one question we kept getting over and over and over is how do we differentiate between the clear versus the deep? Because there are a lot of similarities there. First, we're going to look at deep. What characteristics are indicative of a person who is deep? Sarah? So of course, hair color, dark brown, to black hair is going to be a very good indicator that you fall within the deep category. Now, skin tone can be anywhere from light to deep as well. And then eyelashes and eyebrows are going to be dark as well. But the difference between deep and clear in the deep category, the deep colored eyes are really what makes a difference. Not all dark eyes fall into the deep category. Clear can also pick up some of these people. Now, you guys, you've, if you've been with us a while, you know that I kind of like to cut to the chase and, and give you the, mo the easiest thing to think about. And for those of you who haven't been with us for a while, be sure to subscribe and kind of follow through because what we're saying actually makes sense. But if you haven't done the other videos in the six dominant characteristics, it might be a little hard to follow. But here's my clue. Sarah basically told you everything that you need to know to kind of identify a person who is deep. But when you're talking about a person who is clear, some of those characteristics are identical. Right. Dark hair. Um, All the way from brown to black. Exactly. So anything within that range falls into the clear category. Yes, and this is what makes it so tricky because even eyes, they're in clear, you can have a really deep eye. Here's the thing to look at always. It's the eyes. Mm -hmm. it, and, and I mean, strip all that other stuff away. If somebody, if you're looking at somebody with dark hair, dark eyes, deep skin tone, and you're like, oh, ooh, ooh, you look at the eyes for mm -hmm. contrast. And if they have dark eyes, then you look at the contrast between their iris and the whites of their eye. If there's mm -hmm. a lot of contrast, they could still be clear. Mm -hmm. And the major giveaway, this is absolutely the easiest way to tell. If you've got somebody with dark brown hair and light blue eyes or black hair and light blue eyes, just mark them under clear. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do anything else. Right. But stay with us because we have a couple examples for people with deeper skin tone looking clear versus deep. And you might say to yourself, well, um, why are the eyes so important to determine contrast if a person can have no contrast between the hair and the skin? Basically, you're looking for the light point and the black point. Mm -hmm. In other words, um, you want that to be as drawn out as possible. And if you've been with us again through any videos, what we've taught you is Contrast means the lightest, po high contrast means the lightest possible light point, and then your black point is the deepest possible, so you have the broadest range. So in that one category that seems a little tricky, like dark brown eyes and the whites of the eyes are really white and clear, those are the, that's the whole range, the whitest white mm -hmm. to the deepest deep. So looking at eye colors, the clear options, not only do you have the blues, those crystal blues, those clear greens, but you also have the dark browns as well. But what makes the difference? Do you see the drastic contrast between the eye color and the whites of the eye? That's what makes somebody clear with a deeper eye. But on the right hand side, we have our deep eyes. Do you see there's not a lot of contrast? There's not a lot of, of that bright white showing. I know in a previous video, you said glassy like eyes. And I'll show you later on what that really means in terms of looking at somebody's face. But do you see how the eyes don't have that high contrast going on on the right hand side? 
So let's take a look at a couple celebrities that are differentiated between clear and deep. So on the left, we have Angela Bassett. Now, what makes her clear versus Jennifer Hudson? Because they have similar skin tones, similar hair, but there's something about the eyes. The eyes is what gives it away, and you have the high contrast point between the eyes. Angela Bassett he has all that contrast. It's like sparkle almost. I would, yeah, her eyes sparkle. If you look at all yeah. of her photos, her eyes sparkle. And that's kind of a clue. Right. And so if you're looking at the colors, the palette colors, what you see is you can latch it up and make those colors purer and more vivid on someone with no contrast or with high contrast versus someone who's deep with low contrast. Now, we chose two deep skin models, but you can still have a light skin model with black hair and the bluest blue eye like a Courtney Cox or um, someone like that. And then on, on the deeper side, you can have someone like um, Catherine J Zeta Jones, who has black hair, um, the you know dark brown eyes, but they're a little ambery, so not quite as much contrast. And then um, she's got lighter skin tone. So she's still a deep because she doesn't have those sparkle, sparkly eyes. So let's take a look at Naomi Campbell, who you might think has clear eyes because they are softer they're like a soft brown i would say almost a cool brown if that gives more yeah, description I, like an amber we were looking at them yeah, earlier but they're not, and they've got a glow yeah but they're not rich red like an amber that you would like think of the stone but like a soft brown they're very they're beautiful but that softness doesn't make it clear and that's it's kind the opposite of right, clear, right. Yeah. That's exactly what happens. So what's happening is when she wears these clear, bright colors like this lemon on the left, she gets hidden in the background, and that color just comes right in front of her because she doesn't have enough contrast to compete with that color. That color just instantly stands out. But when she wears the deep colors, now the color is blending beautifully with her. She goes into color harmony. So here we have a whole row of beautiful gowns that she's wearing in deep colors, the deep blues and the deep reds. Do you see how the colors work with her? They're not standing out. They're pairing with her beautifully, creating harmony between her hair, her eyes, her skin tone. Everything is of a piece. But what happens when we put her in bold, bright, clear colors? Those colors stand out before she does. They completely overtake Naomi Campbell instead of pairing with her coloring, her unique coloring, which is her hair, her skin tone, her eye color, and making that stand out. But those colors are just standing out in front of her because she does not have the contrast like Angela Bassett with those glassy eyes that we talk about or the whites of the eyes creating contrast up around her face. So right now, all of the high contrast is down below her face, which is where our eyes are instantly going to go. The thing about this particular group of colors on her is that it frames her face. If you look at the face and then you look at, at what's happening at the, ne or in the neckline and up and around her head, and it creates a frame. However, when you see her in the brighter colors... The frame disappears. There is no frame. There is the dress. So what do we want, you know, in terms of the way you dress? What we want people to see is your face. We want people to see you as opposed to your clothes. Now let's look at somebody who is clear. Now Lupita Nyong'o, she is clear, but sometimes she does tend to wear deeper colors. But this is what we talk about when we talk about glassy eyes, that high contrast between the white point and the dark point in the eyes because now it brought up the contrast into her face. So instead of the color just shining through at the bottom, it's now framing around her face. So we have this teal green on both. One is a clear teal version and one is a deep teal version. As you can see, it's instantly drawing her down because she has enough contrast up at the top, but 
it's now competing against her contrast versus on the left hand side it's working with her contrast so you have her eyes and then you have all the contrast with the color of her hair versus even her um teeth and makeup in this is perfect well, her teeth are perfect <laughs> all the time but contrast again the lip color creating contrast and then the dress creating contrast yeah just a fun fact what happens if you have this the dress on the right and that's the only dress you have and it's not quite right she could fake the contrast she could fake the the high contrast look by high contrast jewelry around mm -hmm. her neck and again that jewelry would complete the frame. Right. Uh, point up her face, you know, really accentuate it. And so that's a way to kind of fudge. Mm -hmm. And also high contrast makeup as well. So going for a brighter lip like she did with the magenta color on the left. So there's a bunch of different ways that you can play up contrast and different tricks. But you really want to create some type of division between the wrong color and your face what's going on with your face now let's take a look at lupita in some bright clear colors as you can see what always stands out is her eyes mm -hmm. all of these images you instantly see the contrast between her eyes and then the color the bright color that she's wearing so that really gives her the contrast that she needs but look at what happens when she wears deep colors she goes and she kind of blends in these colors, the colors that she's wearing in these dresses, these deeper colors, just totally blend her together. We don't see her. We don't instantly look at her. She kind of gets lost behind these colors. And it's pretty hard to differentiate between clear and deep within these scenarios. But it's really that eye color, that glassy eye, the high contrast between the whites and the dark of the eye. So I hope this has helped you within learning the difference between deep and clear and people who look better in clear colors versus deep because it's just the smallest little nuance of difference. So it can be really tricky when it comes to these different colors, but the six dominant characteristics palette does such a good job representing deeper skin tones, which the four seasonal palette does not. And neutrals. Mm -hmm. they, the, one of the, the absolute key things about the six dominant characteristics as a system is that it takes care of people that are mm -hmm. lost. Um, in the Four Seasons palette, it's like, okay, well, just make them a winner. But they're not. They're clear. Right. Mm -hmm. Or, um, you know, or just, just make them a summer. But they're not. They're a light. And that's a different palette. Right. And so we want every person that you color analyze including you to be in the right colors in the right palette and be diagnosed into the proper season and to that end we've got uh, be sure to subscribe because the next video or a couple videos ahead we're going to show you lipsticks mm -hmm. within the six dominant characteristics and that really brings the point home that there are six categories of lipsticks that that you need um, and, and the befores and afters will blow you away. Right. So stick with us and, and we've got that coming. It's always fun to talk about the differences between each different system, I guess we should call them, yeah. between the four because even for us, we don't even fall into the four palette system. We are these outliers or these outcasts that don't fit in because we have competing skin tone versus hair color, warm versus cool. Neutrality. We've got neutral right. things going on. We've mm -hmm. got mixes of things going on. Right. And when deeper skin tones, they have warm skin tone and they have cool hair. So it really, yes. welcome to the club of not being able to fit in within the four seasonal palette system. Well, it, so, some do. Don't get us wrong. Right. Many, many, many people do. But the thing about this is, this is not a this or that. Mm -hmm. That what we're going to take you through, if you stick with us all the way to the 16 palette system, is an evolution of color analysis, meaning, you know, the big groups, four seasons. Then we add nuance, six palette system. Then we add even more specificity, the 12 palette system. And then we take mm -hmm. it a little bit deeper, the 16 palette system. So by the time we get to the 16 palette system, we are very nuanced. And mm -hmm. it's perfect. 
and we believe well i don't know wouldn't say perfect because there are some people that don't fit into the six pal- the 16 palette system or the 12 palette system and, that we've and discovered we will get there mm-hmm. we will get there we promise but the point is we want your colors to be right for you because what happens when they're not when you say oh well you're a summer and then somebody else looks at you and says you're spring and then you write us and say, well, somebody told me I was a summer and somebody said I'm a spring. And I don't think this seasonal color analysis thing works because nobody knows what I am. But we know it works. Mm-hmm. We know that when we get you into the right grouping, you will see a dramatic difference. You may have already seen a dramatic difference. You might be a spring. Perfect. Perfect mm-hmm. spring. And that's wonderful. But isn't it nice to know that you can dig deeper and there are people who who may not have fit into the four seasons and we will get them where they need to go. Mm -hmm. So thank you for watching this video today. Now I do want to mention we are a new YouTube channel so we'd love to have you come along our color analysis journey with us and subscribe to our channel. Like, comment, share, all of those things helps us out a ton. Lastly, I'm Sarah. I'm Lucinda. And this has been another color class, and we'll see you in our next video.